What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and this is my son Devin. He's playing a Game Boy right now that he fixed or we fixed. This is the final week of the eBay repair challenge where we discuss the profit or loss that we made at the end of the eBay repair challenge. Now, we didn't discuss who won the eBay repair challenge in emails or anything like that. We left it kind of a mystery or surprise. So you have to watch the other videos from Steve, Tronics Fix, Vince from my mate Vince or Elliot's videos from the Retro Future. I'll leave links in the video description below so you guys can uh, easily click on those links and find out their results. So uh, I think that Steve won the challenge, but I, I'm not 100% certain. But anyhow, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you my results. I'm going to break it down for you guys. So shipping was not included. Uh, I tried to buy everything that, had, uh, that said free shipping. And then when I sold my items, I tried to have the buyers pay for the shipping. So none of us included the shipping on our items, uh, but we did include uh, parts um, that you know it cost us parts, uh, eBay fees and PayPal fees and stuff like that. So out of the $200 budget we had, I spent $197.37 of it, leaving me with $2.63. So week one. I bought a broken Nintendo 64 and actually I bought two broken Nintendo 64 units and fixed them both, but I could only sell one of them according to the rules of the eBay repair challenge. So I gave one away to my older son, Dominic, which he loves. Try to break it down to individual units. The one I sold cost me $27.99. Sold it for $40, eBay fee $4, PayPal fee, $2, well, around $2, and minus parts, $21, leaves me uh, with <laughs> negative $13. Yeah, so I don't know how anyone makes money on eBay is beyond me. They take so much from you. Whatever profit you make, PayPal and eBay just like takes that away, which sucks. All right, so moving on to week two. Week two, I bought a broken Teddy Rock spin for $19.99 and we fixed it. It cost me $5 in rubber bands. So we bought a more um, assorted pack of rubber bands to fix the unit. That was like around $5. But when we listed the um, Teddy Rock spin on eBay, I got zero bids, zero, not even one bid. <laughs> I think I had like one watcher, zero bids. So I told my niece, if it doesn't sell, you can have it. I just gave it to her because she wanted it and I felt bad. She like, she, she doesn't have a mom or dad. So I think you guys would be all right with that. Uh, week three, I bought a broken Nintendo Switch for $80.75. And we couldn't fix it. I tried to replace the charging port and for some reason, it looked like it was on good, but it was a tricky uh, repair because those pins are hidden and you really have to have a feel for it. And that's more of a practice repair where you have to maybe like do four or five or six to get really good at it. You can't just like do it the first time ever and just, you know, hit a home run the first time at bat. And, but if I did fix that unit, I probably could have sold it maybe for $150 perhaps minus the eBay fees, of course, that would have been like around 10% of that sale. So that would have ate away some of my profit. But anyhow, I did sell it broken for $81 minus eBay fees, $8 minus PayPal fees, around $3. And so that leaves me with uh, negative $10 and 75 cents. So we're not doing too good. <laughs> All right, um, so week four, I bought two broken Game Boys and that was for $44.65. And so if you break it down, it's basically $22.32 each Game Boy, even though I bought them in one listing. And then um, I sold one for, we fixed it, and I sold one for $29.99, which was like way under what I really wanted to get. 
which was around $45. And it was trending supposedly at $45. I like how like, eBay says trending at $45. And I never get what, what it's trending. Almost never get that. But anyhow, sold it for around $30 minus eBay fees, $5 minus um, PayPal fees, $2. And that leaves me with a profit of 67 cents. And then the other Game Boy didn't sell at all. It didn't um, make the reserve. I wasn't going to sell it for the same price that I bought it broken. That would defeat the purpose of the making profit and the eBay repair challenge. So I didn't sell it. My son wanted it. And I told him if it doesn't sell, he could just have it. So that's what he was playing. And the total loss was um, negative $27.45. So unless the other guys had a bigger loss, then I, I know I'm pretty confident that I did not win or come close to winning the eBay repair challenge. Negative $27. Uh, if we did fix the Nintendo Switch, we could have made maybe like $50 profit, whatever. And... But the Nintendo Switch is complicated. Those parts are so tiny and microscopic. It's a harder repair. Whereas um, Game Boy, it's, you know, everything's bigger and bulkier and easier to solder, and easier to fix. Anyway, you live and learn. We didn't do this for to make money. It's more of a learning experience for him, myself, and for you guys. Um, eBay, <laughs> eBay is not for me. Like by any means, I would never start a business on eBay. But hopefully, you guys learned something from this video. Did you learn anything? Yeah. What'd you learn? I fixed Nintendo Game Boy. Yeah. You yawn in all my videos. <laughs> my videos are boring, I guess. But anyhow, he likes to learn um, fixing electronics. I bought him a solder iron and uh, a workbench and some tools. So he's gonna be making his own videos. I'll leave links to um, Tronics Fix and um, my mate Vince and Elliot from The Retro Future. I'll leave those links in the video description below. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in tech videos like this, subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest videos. Thanks guys for watching.